In this video, we are going to look about the exponents for irrational numbers. Now, uh, if you have to find out the value of, let's say, 16 to the power 1 by 4, what this means is that you are required to find out the fourth root of 16. Okay, this is the smaller 4 and not 4 times. Okay, the fourth root of 16, which can also be written as 16 to the power 1 by 4. In these cases, what we need to do is we need to first find out, can we express this number as some power which can kind of cancel out with this 1 by 4. Now, we know that a to the power m to the power n is equal to a to the power m by n. Right? So, can we express this 16 in such a fashion that, you know, a to the power m is basically equal to 16? Now we note that 16 can be written as 2 to the power 4, right? Or in other words, this 16 can be written as 2 to the power 4 and then this can be written as 1 by 4. Now if you look at this, this basically becomes nothing but this equation. And this we know can be written as 2 to the power 4 into 1 by 4. These two cancel with them and the answer is 2. So what we did was we used the law of exponents to find out the value for an irrational number. Let's look at some more examples. You have 15 to the power 1 by 2 and then divided by 15 to the power 1 by 4. Now you know that a to the power n divided by a to the power n is basically equal to a to the power m minus n. Here a being equal to 15, okay, m being 1 by 2 and n equals to 1 by 4. So we can write this as 15 to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4. Right? Or 15 to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 will give you, actually it will give you 1 by 4 itself. And this basically becomes your answer. So again here we use the law of exponents to resolve a particular problem. Let's look at a third thing. In this case, if I just equate this with something like, you know, a to the power m times b to the power, again, it's m. Why? Because 5 to the power 1 by 2 and 7 to the power 1 by 2. We know a to the power m multiplied by b to the power m can be written as a into b to the power m. In this particular case, a is equal to 5, b is equal to 7, to the power 1 by 2 or in other words 35 to the power 1 by 2 which is nothing but square root of 35 and that's your answer similarly we can also resolve this particular equation where we have a to the power m times b or actually a to the power n this can simply be written as a to the power m plus n or in other words, 3 to the power 5 upon 3 plus 3 upon 10. Right? If we solve this part, what do we get? We get 30, 10, 50 plus 3 times 3 gives you 9, 59 by 30. Right? So you can write this as 3 to the power 59 by 30. And that's your answer. Right? Right?